We are doing a bit of wait and see with space weather this week. As we take a look at our Earth facing disk, we do have two big flare players in Earth view right now. One is region 3102 and the other is region 3107 that's just rotated into Earth view. Neither of them are firing off really super big flares, although we did have an M class flare from region 3102 here just in the last 24 hours and a little bit of a R1 radio blackout because of that, but it didn't last all that long. Meanwhile, we're also watching region 3107 because that region is a solar storm producer. And if it continues to potentially fire off solar storms, it could give us something Earth directed very soon. Now, on top of that, we also have a big coronal hole that's going to be rotating into the Earth strike zone here over the next couple days. And that could definitely send us some fast solar wind and could bump us up to storm levels. So Aurora photographers, get ready. You could be in for a decent show, uh, more at high latitudes and mid latitudes, but nonetheless, it could still give us some decent aurora. Now, as we take a look at our far side, this is Stereo A, and it's looking at the sun just a little bit from the side. You can see region 3102 rotating off of the west limb in Stereo's view, and it actually, you can see that in, in that region, there was a big solar storm being launched back on the 18th. That is not Earth directed, so we don't have to worry about it. But you can see region 3107, and it's a pretty big region, and it is definitely active. And so we are expecting some level of activity from this. And then you can even see some stuff behind it. So we are expecting that solar flux to kick up. We are expecting radio blackouts, at least the potential for them to continue. And that means uh, both amateur radio operators, emergency responders, and also uh, space traffic and and uh, radio comms for space traffic. We're going to have to stay on our toes easily in through this week. For more details on this week's space weather, including how those two big flare regions might affect you, come check out my channel or see me at spaceweatherwoman.com.